Hi, Rich Keeble here. Hey, Rich Keeble here. Uh, not him again. Uh, anyway, welcome back to my channel. If you are a regular viewer, you will know that I have got Brighton Marathon coming up in uh, just a couple of days. And also, if you're a regular viewer, you'll know that my training has gone a bit awry. Uh, because I had some little niggles and then I fell on a tap, a bruised a rib, which is kind of still hanging around, but it's a lot better. If you're not a regular viewer, well, I just told you. Oh, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. But as you all know, I managed to run Tihir Park Run on Saturday in a pretty good sub 22 minute time and I'm feeling not too bad. So first of all, I think in a previous uh, video, I suggested maybe I wouldn't do Brighton Marathon. And certainly a couple of weeks ago, uh, I wasn't sure whether I could. Mate. Mate. Um, but the last couple of weeks have given me some real renewed confidence. And I've just literally finished a little run around uh, where my in-laws live. I'm still in Poland, by the way. That was a little sort of taper specific marathon pace session where I've just done four chunks of five minutes at my marathon pace. Now, of course, deciding what my marathon pace would be has been a bit tricky, but I think based on heart rate, so basically when I ran Manchester Marathon last year, when I did 3.39, I ran pretty much entirely in zone three, which for me is below about 170 BPM. When I did Brighton Marathon last year, when I kind of messed it up and the wheels fell off about 25K, I was running kind of in my zone four. So it feels like running in zone three might be a good indicator. And I've just done these four blocks uh, where I've been running at about 5.20 to 5.30 and depending on the terrain, that seems to keep me in my zone three and feels okay. So. I think that's given me a bit of confidence to at least on the day try running at about 5.25 to 5.30 uh, minutes per kilometer and see how I feel. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for a, a sub four finish. But if I don't do sub four, it doesn't really matter. You know, the circumstances surrounding this marathon, I think I was just jinxed from the beginning really. Uh, you may re remember I was aiming for a 3.10 I think secretly I was thinking maybe 3.20 or anything under 3.30 would be great, but now I'm just thinking about finishing. Now, uh, one thing that of course is hanging over my head a little bit is the fact that I haven't done really any long runs for weeks. The last proper long run I did was probably two months ago. And I haven't done even a 13 miler in the last few weeks. I've done a couple of, I've done a few 10-ish mile runs. I'm hoping that that won't be so big a deal, the fact that I've already run two marathons mentally and now I can run the distance. But yeah, I think we'll just have to see how we go. I haven't practiced with the gels at all, but I'm just gonna try and do what I did at Manchester last year, which is take one every half an hour, I think it was. And I'll take the cyst gels, which I'm used to, and just hope my stomach doesn't have a problem with them. I think that's all we can do really, isn't it? So my session today is gonna be my last run, I think, it's Wednesday as I record this. I might do an easy run tomorrow. Oh yeah, I was gonna run yesterday, but I woke up with a bit of a funny eye. I've got a bit of, I don't know whether it's a sty or just something, it just, yeah, yesterday, I just wasn't feeling very well. Uh, I didn't really have much of an appetite, sort of wasted the day really, but yeah, didn't go out for a run. Eye's still a bit puffy today, but I feel a lot better, and obviously I've been out for a run, so hopefully that's, that's nothing. Maybe just a bit run down after the, I don't know, the hard effort on Saturday. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Anyway, this is certainly the last video in this training series. Well, the penultimate video because the last video will be the marathon itself, however well that goes. So thanks for joining me on these training sessions. Um, yeah, the, the, the let's see how the marathon goes with my slightly um, unorthodox 
training block if you're running Brighton Marathon. Good luck to you. Um, I hope your training has gone better than mine. And yeah, if you're down there, uh, give me a shout and say, come and say hi. that will be lovely to see you. So there we go. Um, thanks again. If you're not a regular viewer, please consider liking and subscribing to see more amazing, uh, for real, unfettered, unsugar-coated content. And uh, if you'd like to see how I did last, uh, um, in the last Brighton Marathon two years ago, click that video. If you'd like to see how I did at Manchester Marathon last year, click that video. And uh, if you'd like to see the, um, the playlist of the actual training vlogs, that's there. See you around.